hello students welcome back to engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time now we are going to solve this problem which says that the forced steel clamp exerts a force of 900 newton on the wooden block determine the resultant internal loadings acting on the section aa passing through point a so here we have that point a and we are asked to find the internal loadings through this section aa so this is our point a here and this is applying the clamp is applying a 900 newton force on the wooden block so if we pass a cutting section here and we are going to consider this particular segment for finding the internal loadings so if the clamp is applying 900 newton force on the wooden block in this direction so as a reaction the wooden block will apply the same force on uh, on the jaw in the opposite direction so we will have that force f here somewhere here it will be acting and this is 900 newton and since we want to find the internal loadings so the cross section is making uh, 30 degree with the horizontal so we will have the normal force we will have the normal force this normal force will be perpendicular to the section so this is a, a section so this is an a or we can say this is an a a and let's say we have v a the internal resultant shear force so this is v a a and let's say that we have the bending moment let's say it is in the clockwise direction so this is m a a so we want to find this n a a v a a and m a a <clears throat> so now we have to define our x axis and y axis in this direction so this will be our positive x this will be our positive y so let's say that um, in this direction is our positive x this direction is our positive y so let me draw that so we will have this parallel to the section a a is our positive x and this will be our positive y so now if i copy this a a section and if i put it here so you guys can see that this line is parallel to this line to the cross section so this is 30 degrees this is 30 degrees so if this is 30 degrees and this is 90 degrees since this is vertical 900 force is vertical so if this is 30 and this is 90 then this is 60 degrees so this means that this 900 newton force is making 60 degree with the uh, line uh, which is parallel to the cross section or we can say with the x axis and with the y axis so we can say that this angle is we can say this is 60 degrees so now once we find the angle uh, with the x axis we can resolve it so we will have one force in this direction this one will be the cost component this one will be 900 cos of 60 and we will have one component perpendicular to this section or we can say perpendicular to that blue line which is parallel to the x-axis so this will be 900 sine of 60 so since the angle is made with this blue line so this component will be the cost component this one will be the sine component so now to find an AA, VAA and MAA, we have to consider the equilibrium conditions. So now if I apply the sum of the forces in the X, that must be equals to zero. This is our positive X direction. And positive X is this. Positive X is making 30 degrees with the horizontal. So we have VAA in the positive X. So we have VAA. And we have this cos component in the positive x. So we will write plus 900 cos of 60 degree. This is equal to 0. And from this we can say that VAA is equal to minus 900 cos of 60. So minus 900 cos of 60. So this gives us minus 450. So the internal resultant shear force at the cross section AA is equal to 450 this is 450 minus 450 and the minus sign tells us that the zoom direction is not accurate actually VAA is in the downward direction that is in the negative x so this is VAA minus 450 Newton 
now if we apply the sum of the forces in the y that must be equals to zero this direction is positive y direction so we have an aa in the negative y so i will write minus an aa and we have this sine component in the positive y direction so that is plus 900 sine of 60 this is equal to zero and from this we can say that minus an aa is equal to minus 900 sine of 60 multiplying both sides of equation with minus sign this will become positive so we will have an aa equal to plus 900 sine of 60 so this is 779.42 779.42 newton and since we got the positive sign the assumed direction of an aa is accurate and it is perpendicular to the section aa similarly if we want to find the moment about the internal bending moment the cross section so we will apply the sum of the moment about point a so the sum of the moment about point a will be equal to zero and the counterclockwise moment is assumed to be positive so we have this maa this is in the we have assumed that maa is in the clockwise direction so i will write minus maa and this we are going to consider the result on 900 newton force we are not going to consider the components because to find the moment of this 900 newton force about that point a is easy because we are given this uh, perpendicular distance with from that point a to this 900 newton force so this 900 newton force is producing the counterclockwise moment so we will write uh, plus 900 and the moment arm of this 900 newton force from that point a is this point 0.2 this is basically 200 mm so 200 divided by 1000 is 0 0.2 meters so we will multiply this with 0 0.2 and this is equal to zero so now from this we can say that this is equal to multiplying both sides with minus sign that will become plus so maa is equal to 900 into 0 0.2 this gives us 180 so internal bending moment at the cross section aa is 180 newton meter we got the positive sign this means that the assumed direction of maa is accurate which is in the clockwise direction so we can say that this is in the clockwise direction so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning let me know in the comments if this helps. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Mechanics of Materials by R.C. Hebler.